Hey folks, it's Simon and Nathan from LJ Hooker Stafford. Uh, we just wanted to wrap up the discussion we started regarding the home builder scheme a couple of weeks ago. The final thing that I wanted to add was that uh, in, uh, you know, along with the home builder scheme, you can utilise a whole raft of initiatives, grants and stamp duty concessions at both a national, uh, state or territory level. So you can really package things up to get the best package for you when you are renovating or building new. Uh, Nath, what else would you like to add? I guess, Simon, just to add to the Home Builder Scheme, there's some certain uh, things you do need to hit to actually be qualified for that. Uh, one is you do need to be, a, uh, I guess, a, a, a person, an owner-occupier. You can't be a business or a trust um, to, to uh, apply for that. Uh, it can't be done by a direct relative either or somebody within uh, a close relationship. There does have to be that separation um, within the family. Oh, you mean between the, uh, you know, the builder and the Yeah, so the builder, the owner, you can't yeah. be your brother or something like yeah, that, Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the final one is that um, there's certain things that are excluded, like pools, tennis courts, spas, uh, granny flats. So it does actually have to pretty much come underneath the roof line of your existing home or being uh, part of that. So, um, but there's, we can easily send you off a checklist and, and chat further about that sort of stuff. Thanks, Nathan. Folks, look, uh, we've really enjoyed, you know, dissecting this issue for you. If you do have any questions, like Nath said, please reach out. But again, thanks for listening. Talk soon. Bye.